What's going on, guys? It's Chad. So a couple days ago, I made a video, uh, and in the middle of that video, I basically said, hey, just go down in the comment section and uh, basically give me challenge accepted, random classes and stuff like that. So I found a comment down there that said something along the lines of, try out that oil can suppressor that that one guy you were spectating was using. So I found his class, I think to the best of my ability anyway, uh, with an oil can suppressor. He had an X16 with an oil can suppressor. I have it basically as best as it can be in the other categories. I'm mostly going to use it for like the close range stuff since we're sniping with it and all but most of the time it'll probably just be them stun grenade and then you just spam them down or whatever i'm gonna use this class and i haven't played warzone in a couple days the past couple days i've actually been uploading and playing a little bit of cold war i'm literally not even level 55 yet on this entire season i would have hit 55 within like uh, hey if you played warzone you could probably hit 55 in a day warzone you spend like one 20 minute match to then potentially level up twice although it's probably pretty unlikely that you will be able to level up twice from it but now you have see uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be kevin holland versus uh Derek brunson Derek brunson is like the gatekeeper to the elite in the ufc it feels like Derek brunson is like this guy that like if you can get through him or more so if you cannot make it through him you're definitely not gonna be the top of the top that's what that gatekeeper kind of thing is a lot of people look at gatekeepers kind of like either maybe former champions or uh long time contenders and stuff that never have really realized a belt and regardless Derek brunson he's a beast it's just you know, he's got holes in his game and, you know, he's got like everybody else. You know, it is what it is. He's supposed to be fighting Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. I don't see anything down here, man. Uh, no armor, no money. I just know, though, as soon as somebody opens up on me, I only got a plate and a half. And then somebody goes and takes it. Fuck. I'm never gonna get my thing like this. Uh, I should have landed somewhere else. There's actually, I didn't find a single plate out there. <laughs> uh, just fucking kill me, man. So that's the issue. I don't know how these guys half the time just decide like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna go hop on and go and get a loadout, no problem. It just seems so casual for so many people. And it just, on this shit, everywhere I land, there is nothing here. I mean, there's definitely someone in here probably. I could try to make it over there, but I'm really gonna die doing this. Fuck, maybe I should have played Cold War again. <laughs> God damn it. So they added the, uh, the R1 Shadow. Shadow Hunter crossbow thing. I don't know if its stats are really any different. That's kind of the, the hardest and weirdest part of this whole thing. We don't really know if any of the stats are really different from the other crossbow. Oh, somebody shot at me. Uh, I can go here and just kind of try to buy like an armor plate bundle or whatever. Foul and an ISO. Really? That's the setup for this guy. We got two kills. I haven't even been able to get... We got a, a mask in here anywhere, guys? Let's get the loadout. So many people died over here and I only have three kills. I swear I fought like five, six people there. Right, I gotta make it to that truck, but I have a feeling somebody's watching. We're gonna take it and dip. that right here right god there's always i die at the worst time all my shit's there too it's over man holy fuck what a pointless game much easier to just stream this shit all day and just get carried by squads fuck this garbage shit great it's awesome i love being able to win my gulag to land back into nothingness what's the point of even winning and even if i win congratulations i won a fucking game where i've got how many four kills might as well die i'm gonna just land up here hopefully someone smokes my dumb fuck ass 
Now I gotta run across the entire savanna to make it over there. Two plates, just an FFAR. I know I say just an FFAR, but at distance, not the best. Try to look for other things while I'm here, I guess. But honestly, this shit is pain. That guy must have done like a prediction airstrike or something right there because I didn't get any warning or whatever. I guess he knew that I could only go down that street in particular, so he just airstriked it preemptively and I drove right into it without even noticing. FFAR. Never seen this class set up before. Moving. Right. Wait, that guy was just over there at the truck, and now all of a sudden he's gone? Oh, there he is. Back here, buddy boy. Don't run from me. running so much, man. What are you doing? Dude, let me move! was literally i i moved specifically in a way where i stayed away from that hitbox of it my own vehicle had me stuck against the side of it when i was trying to sprint i sprinted in place and it caught me against his vehicle another vehicle to sit and just drive around in one fucking kill and it's me man oh please run him over oh Okay, yeah, and the hitbox for that whole thing just immediately- Look how easily he's protected as soon as he goes and puts the door and gets in that fucking cockpit right there. Entire playstyle, no gunning whatsoever. The only time he tried to gun and he immediately threw stunts. And he outplayed me, like, uh, unreal. Some people like calling Kevin Holland just big mouth, but I mean, he's just talking shit. I mean, a lot of people have talked shit. Yeah, he does it in this pretty special way where he just talks shit in the middle of the fight. But honestly, if I were a fighter, I would love to be that style where it's just like Kevin Holland will be in the middle of like getting punched in the face. He'll be like, dude, I swear I had a dream about this one time. Like he just says stupid shit to you. I love it. It's super fun, super entertaining. And it's so long as it's not like this crazy, literally his entire play style is just sat around in a truck, marking truck to truck to truck in solos. Oh, he's trying to destroy the other trucks so there can't be any other trucks. This is the meta in solos right now, by the way, uh, Raven, if you guys didn't know, uh, solos, basically everyone just sits in vehicles still. Now there's a lot more people out there that have been using explosives and stuff to try to destroy them. But maybe there's really no point in having the Bertha in solos. I'm just gonna put that out there. Can we remove the Berthas from solos? Players like this are able to just drive around and do absolutely nothing but run other players over. They don't actually play the real game. They're not playing Call of Duty, they're playing fucking Twisted Metal. No thought process or brain activity behind it. Yeah, they both need to light them up. It's gonna blow them up. It's gonna blow! Oh no, but the other guys killed each other. So now it's still a one-on-one -on -one scenario, but he only has two plates and he's stuck wide out in the open. Literally what the entire play style is based around. It's completely based around just driving and playing as safe as possible until inevitably you fight someone and die. And it's not even like through intelligent positioning. It's through just cheesing the game, knowing that the Berthas should just not be in this mode. A singular player to have enough on them by themselves to blow up a Bertha is simply not enough. After you have four or five of them come at you, and tell me I'm exaggerating, I will start putting full clips of me literally running away from stampedes of Berthas. I didn't even get to shoot anybody with it because I got airstruck and uh, maybe I'll try this another day. It's That's a cursed class right there. I didn't even get to kill anybody and it's cursed. That's how cursed it is. I don't have any kills with it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go with the Trailblazer. I know stylistically, like this is a step up for Kevin for sure in comparison to the people that he's fought before uh, Derek Brunson, so... This is a real test. Like, I know a ton of people like to disrespect Derek Brunson and all that shit, but uh, this is a real test for Kevin Holland. So if Kevin just steamrolls through him, which he definitely can, and I'll probably pick him to do, I'll probably say like a round one finish or something. He could definitely go a completely different direction. He could drag Kevin into deeper waters, although, I mean, it is five rounds. He, he could, so we'll see. But I, I think Kevin, by TKO at least. And that class? Fuck that class.